It's a kitchen built on legend and the legacy of 21 generations. Enriched with centuries-old temple tradition and seasoned with modern-day technologies. Nestled in the southwestern hills of coastal India is Dharmasthala, a town whose name translates to the abode of righteousness. Every day, thousands of pilgrims from across the country are drawn to its temples. The temple is the main attraction in Dharmasthala. But for many, their visit is incomplete without a meal at the Annapurna dining hall. On any given day, they prepare a hearty six-item menu, feeding anywhere from 25,000 to 50,000 people. It's like catering to nearly 400 wedding parties in a single day. It's a huge responsibility, feeding tens of thousands of pilgrims each day and running a service across spaces big enough to fit four basketball courts. This is around 19,800 square feet of uh, carpet area. So we have about nine bays in this uh, uh, line. Each bay is 6.5 meters gap. So each bay will take care of around 400 people at a time. On a regular day, this is mega service. But come winter, the stakes get even higher. The quantities may be mega, but so is the quality. Today, boilers are steam cooking a variety called Sona Masuri, exported around the globe for its light and fluffy grains and fragrant aroma. Around 25 workers get to the job of chopping vegetables. This small army is vital, considering 4,000 kilos of vegetables will be needed to cook the festival spread. When the doors open at 10.30 a.m., it must satisfy the first round of approximately 30,000 devotees. Outside in the queues, the wait is over. Crowds stream into Annapurna, 